Hey guys, Technical Control with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to change your Apple ID or switch iCloud account on your iPhone on the latest version. So let's get started. So in order to switch your Apple account or, or put your new account onto existing account, it's going to be really simple. First thing you want to do is go into your setting of your iPhone and you want to back up your data on the existing account in case you do want your data backed up on this account if you're going to be using this account in the future. So I recommend is going into your iCloud account here. You can click on iCloud and then there's options to do a uh, backup for your iCloud with the iCloud backup option as you can see here for your device and you want to click on backup now and it will tell you when the last time it backed up successfully which is important to do because once you sign out of this account you want to make sure everything is backed up there. So, or you can always uh, use your computer to back up on the new Finder app or the iTunes app if you have a PC or computer, which you can uh, learn about it on another video. But after you're good that you're backed up and you can sign out of this account, it's going to be really simple on your Apple ID here, right in the setting. You're going to click over here and go all the way down here where it says sign out. So let's do that one more time, iCloud account, all the way down here. There's a sign out option, so you click on sign out. And then you need to enter the existing Apple ID password here in order to be able to turn off uh, or remove this account so you can sign into a new one. So I'm going to go enter the Apple ID password of this account here. So I've entered the Apple ID password for this account and then I'll click on turn off at the top corner here. Wait till it processes the option. Now if you want to keep a data copy of any of this information you can select it on but then click on sign out and then click on sign out one more time and as you can see here now it's signing me out of this account on this phone and now as you can see here if I go back here on this phone here you can close out the app and then open it up again and this time I should be able to sign into a new account or switch to another account that I like or you can create another account for free by simply click on sign in and as you can see here couple ways you can do it. You can manually sign in with your existing email or phone number and verify your identity. Or if you have another phone, you can bring it close to it and it will allow you to sign in as well. Both of these methods works. Or if you don't have an account or you want to create a new account, you can click on don't have Apple ID and it will instruct you to create a new one. So most of the time you might be doing the manual one, but on iOS 17 it does allow you to bring another device close to it so that you can do the sign in there as well. So another thing you can do if you have it on another device. So either of the option and then you'll see here you'll be prompted with the Apple ID password one more time and then you can go ahead and enter the credential of the new account and then enter the password again. So I'm going to put in my details here really quick just entering the email and then the password here and finally after you enter your email and password for the account that you want to sign in to on or switch to you just click on done here and it will begin the sign in now there is going to be authorization code if you have this uh, enabled the two-factor you need to enter that code here so I'm going to enter the two-factor in the code and it's signing me in you might be wondering, I'm just signing into the same existing account, but it's the same exact thing for a different account as well. It wouldn't matter, but basically that's how you change it. Now, this is going to ask you if you want to merge your data between your iCloud account here. You can just click on Merge here, and that's completely fine. And the process has begun to switch over to the new account, and the existing account that you had will be gone. And since that one signed out, it will not link with this one. So that's how it is. It goes in switching your Apple ID account on your iPhone. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys uh, next time.